5 a.m. on the Meander River. I'm about to get uh, fishing gear on and uh, yeah, get down into the river here and start fishing my way up. It's going to be 27 here today. So, um, I'll have an early, very early start and get out of it before the sun gets up and it gets too hot. It's a beautiful time to be down here with the birds and the air, so peaceful. It's 25 past five and I've just hit the river. It was a little bit too dark earlier. I had a couple of cars, but couldn't, I couldn't even see where my lure was going. Anyway, um, when the water's, that little log there just on the left, when the water's just touched on the bottom of that, it's the perfect wading height. Once it starts getting a bit high above that, then it starts getting a bit deeper and a bit dangerous up further. But uh, I had one cast already there and, uh, to that opposite river bank and had a hit on, a hit the fir very first cast. There's already insects um, hovering around above the water here. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to start getting into it and let's hope I can pick up a fish or two before it gets too light. Well, I hooked one and lost it, only a little tacker. But um, I'm just moving up this river here and it's, um, she's really built down pretty fast this morning. I checked the river heights before I left home, it was showing 70 centimetres which is just safe enough but I don't know whether they've let a bit more water in a hunt or not it seems to be a bit higher than higher than the reading but it's still still okay at this stage safe just safe enough anyway so I'll keep working up the river. Uh, it hasn't started off all that flash at the moment I've uh, hooked and lost three three um, little only little little browns but yeah, it's a bit disappointing. My um, main problem has been having to cast um, directly upstream in, in a little, in like uh, these little flat water pockets, and uh, along along the edge of the river, and bringing the lure straight down, directly down back towards me. So they're grabbing at it, but the hook's not setting properly. Um, I've tried to cast and drift, but it's just too much water built and down to even be holding a fish out out there at the moment. So I've got to cross over here now and then work myself up along that other bank and hopefully I'll um, pick up at least one up here and then we'll, we'll get out at the top end there and uh, walk back to the car and try somewhere else. But just a shame the river's running running higher than, than what it was reading this morning. Well, I've made up through here. It wasn't, it wasn't that easy either. It was well above the knees. So, um, thankfully, I'm an experienced river fisher, and anyone else that had never had experience um, could have lost their footing there and gotten, uh, gone off heading off downstream. I did hook another one uh, on the, looking back down the river here on the right hand side behind the overhanging bush there. Another one I had a cast directly upstream with and hooked it and then lost it. So, um, but I've made it up to this flat water, big wide flat water here. Uh, still a fair bit of water pushing down here, so this is my last chance of getting a fish or two here. Um, then I'll have to cross over up the top end and um, yeah, get through the bush and head back to the car and try elsewhere. And finally, <laughs> finally we've got a little brown. First of the morning. And uh, that was another one taking a, directly, a cast directly upstream, bringing it down and they took him off that river, left river bank there, so finally we got one. Just picked up another little tucker. Yeah, they're only babies. I don't, know the, well, I don't know where the decent fish are, but I suppose it breaks my not if not catching any, anything. Uh, we just picked up another little tucker here. And uh, you're getting them with the, with the um, cast and drift method here and then that was a cast of that opposite river bank there and then slowly retrieved it and then just let it drift and picked him up about dead centre of the river so just a little tackle and we'll get to let him go. Alright I've got to cross over here now to where that uh, fallen log is in the river and then climb up that river bank and get to the road. 
But uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge crossing here today because this, uh, this river's running about eight inches higher than uh, normal when I cross here. So it's going to have to take it slow and easy and uh, make sure I get a good footing. Well, I made the cross. It wasn't easy though. Especially once we got to that log and had to get across here. It was uh, pretty tough. But, uh, no, but we've, we've made it to the bank and now I've just got to um, get here and head up through the bush and uh, back to the road. Uh, I've just moved to the second area and just had a couple of casts and uh, picked up a little brown off, just off that river bank. Not, not very big. It's a, it's a nice little fish. You might toss the hook in any glass and I won't have to worry about taking him off. But, uh, He's a little battler, love these little river fish. And there, there he is, I will just um, lower him down now and I'll um, turn the camera off and let him go. Alright, we'll just come to the next stretch of the river I'm going to fish. The main reason I came here is wide, it's medium flowing, um, and it's much safer than the fast water runs at the moment with it. Um, Amount of all they're pushing down it, so yeah. But um, I'm not overly confident. Good thing is it's coming overcast here, but um, if I don't do any good in this stretch of river, I've got a creek I'll try on the way home, and then I may even call into another bit bigger river on the way on the after that one on the way back closer to Sheffield too. Just pick up another little, another little brown here. There it is. A little tacker. Oh, they've all been, they've all been little tarot. I don't know what um, you know, fish that used to average 400 grams here and now averaging under, well under 200. Um, some are going 220 to 280, but majority of them are around 180, 190 grams. Just little fellas. So I'll get him off. And, uh, I just uh, cast towards that log, loved it near the log, and then let it drift, and he picked it up about halfway between me and the log. I just picked up this another little brown here on the Furia. I, um, I had a couple of decent fish follow it, but they were just they just nipped at the back of the Furia, and, they, and uh, yeah, it wouldn't take it. But, uh, but this little fellow, I just I just picked him up. I had a cast and drift from that opposite bank there, and yeah, bang, picked him up from there. But we still got a nice little bit of water ahead of us yet. And the, the little Akuma, um six foot rod, lightweight rod, and, and uh, the little. Um, CLA Reel is uh, CMA Reel, it's uh, doing, a, doing a real good job. And caddis moss everywhere again on the river. It's a uh, trout a few and far between. I've had a couple of hit and misses and tried a couple of hard bodies. I keep coming back to the, to the maps. That seems to be the only ones they're hitting at, but uh, the rest of uh, They've just been tipping at the back of the lure. They're not. Uh, no real uh, aggression in them. It's perfect day, perfect conditions for it. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, finally on a decent, one decent brown here today. And, uh, it's only, yeah, he's reasonably well hooked. I can keep him there for tick. I was just holding the water as I picked him up. I cast where that, de that uh, log was over there, and I uh, just brought it back with a little twitch and uh, cast and drift. And uh, yeah, and he got about halfway down here and then he just picked it up and smashed it. So, yeah, very happy. Right. I'm on my way home, I've come to, uh, um, from fishing the um, bigger rivers and I've come to this little creek. So I um, decided I'll hop in, it's a little bit milky and cloudy in some parts, but other than that it's pretty pretty good. I've had a couple of casts here and had a follow. Uh, I've just um, put a little greedy guts lure on. so. We'll see if a little hard body lure will um, get a trout to take to take it. It wouldn't wouldn't. Uh, I had the hit and misses and taps and that on the on the um, black furia, but um, yeah. So we'll just see how the hard body will go. There in you go. Very first cast upstream, and we picked up this little brown on it. Oh, um, Get him off, so the little hard body's done a good job first up. It's the sec second cast, and we picked up another brown. This one's a lovely fish, this one a bit better, a bit bigger. 
properly performing. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to get me dead off here. I can't keep holding him like this and uh, trying to keep him at one. He's a lovely fish. Uh, he's, uh, he's up. Gone. Beautiful. So there's been a couple of trout just sipping off the surface up ahead of me here. So I'm going to um, flick the hard body up over the pass and bring it back down and see if they'll turn around and take it. Since I caught those couple of fish early, it, um, it's gone down here since then. I um, hooked and lost them. It was a beautiful fish where two creeks, um, where the two creeks met up there. And, um, yeah, it would have been at least one half kilo fish. It uh, didn't quite take the lure properly. So, um, but I don't think these are over big fish in here, but we'll see what happens. All right, well, my day's done. It's uh, 10 past 11. I got up at quarter, quarter four this morning. Didn't leave home till about 20 past four, I suppose it was, quarter past four. In the in the river, I just started just after five-ish, and then lost the first three fish. Got a few more. Got out of there, went and fished another area, picked up a few more there. Crawled into this creek on the way home, where I uh, picked up another three here. So yeah, in the end, I, I finished up with nine nine trout for the day, which wasn't too bad. Lost a beautiful fish here. Um, I thought it was my fault. Probably more, more my fault than the fish's fault actually. He just, I think he grabbed the lure, he had two goes of the lure, and the second time he sort of hit it side on. So, uh, and I thought he'd really taken it, so I sort of lifted it, but it just didn't quite have it, and he spat it, and off he went. Yeah, so it would have, would have been one half kilo fish, beautiful. But, but I was happy with how the day went, but I'm pretty tired now, it's been a long, long morning. So, um, yeah, till next time, tight lines.